I heard a ring drop. Yes. Beautiful. Right. Shammy. Where is that shammy? There we go. Yeah. If you're new to the game, you can... I didn't find this out until what, my second character, maybe. If you hold alt, it can it displays all of the uh, items on the screen. It helps so much. I, I must have missed out on so much loot on my first playthrough of this game. Well, I played through all the way, but I'm the first character on the game. I must have missed out on so much good loot. Uh, it to start. It, the game is a bit slow to start, especially. Oh, for God's sake, where is the shammy? They have a stupid range that they can res from. It's a ridiculous range. Uh, my main, like what I like to do when I'm playing a druid at uh, the start is I like to go 3 into strength and 2 into energy, which is, the stat points work a bit differently to like what you'd expect from most MMOs these days, like strength also does still increase your uh, spell damage, which seems to be most of the uh, RPGs these days, you know, strength is just your main melee thing, like, like your, your melee damage and stuff like that. And also... Like dexterity is kind of like hit rating on WoW and it's defense as well. Vitality is how long you can sprint for. Like as you can see, I'm running fast now and walking slow here. And vitality up like increases how much how long you can sprint for and how much hit points you have, how much life. I don't really start upgrading them until I mean Act Two really because. The things here don't really do that much damage, and you always have a good supply of health potions, which I'm saying I'm not in my bags right now. But anyway, they're very common to drop. Mana potion there, healing potion here. The gold isn't really an issue in this game, it's not very often in the start of the game that you'll need to buy items other than your healing potions if you're fighting a boss and you're having to come in and out of the boss fight. Oh, okay. Well, I need to identify a few of these. Yeah. So you you have scrolls in your bag as well. Like scroll of Town Paul. That'll open the portal back to the rogue encampment. And scroll of identify is when you find items like not that like this un unidentified. You uh, use this on that and you get random. Yeah, random stats on it really, depending on what level you got it. Like what level monster drops it. So it's better than nothing right now. So might as well equip that. That's a po. Uh, you throw the potions, like the uh, gas potions. They do relatively high damage, but I've never really used them. Not really high enough level to anyone. A bit low on health here. So uh, the uh, this place can take a while, and I'm probably on. Act two, maybe I'm going to play this with a, another person, like two, uh, two people. Play all the way through the game with another person after Act one. It's just that we started our uh, started playing the game with two people uh, a few nights ago. Um, we're just like playing on Act two, just messing around, just running through the same dungeon a few times to get levels. So I'm going to change that character pretty much in level two after the first few quests to catch up. And uh, that's still my druid. It's just uh, another one of my druids. As I said, I really enjoy playing druids, so uh, I have quite a lot of them. And I have, I, to be honest, I didn't really uh, venture out of the elemental tree either. I spent all my time. Elemental on all of my druids, but the other specs they just don't seem that appealing, to be honest. Oh, there we go, first boss, and I'm poisoned. Probably. I need to spend some points here. Oh no, this doesn't look like it's gonna win well for me. 
Got any healing potions? No, that's not good. Oh no. Seven health. I know what we'll do. Don't kill me. Take a pull back to the rogue encampment. She heals you, gives you full mana whenever you talk to her. But it's worth buying these off her as well. Oh, great. Scepters sell for quite a lot in this game, along with the uh, gas potions. Going to identify this. Oh, lovely. Alright. Buy a few more healing potions. As you can see, you have two layers, and the layers depend on your belt. Like, as you can see, my belt is. This is not it, it just looks like a norm belt, but if you get like a. Uh, if you get like a two layer belt. And that'll give you an extra row of potions, so you'll have three rows of potions, and that helps massively, even if it is a bit of a uh, stat reduction. On the belt that you have, it's always worth having. It saves a lot of time, especially when you're fighting bosses, or big groups of enemies. It saves a lot of time having to wear... Uh, oh, a gem. Awesome. It saves a lot of time having to go into your bags and replace your healing potions onto your bar. Did I buy any mana potions? That was silly of me. Oh, scroll town ball. So I'll have to beat this guy down there. And. Okay. Right, uh. I really need to take this boss down at least before the end of this video because it's dragging on. I'm sorry about that. I know what I'll do. He's going down alright, especially on 8 players. Bosses do seem to take a while on this game when playing by yourself on 8 players. Let's see what he drops. Usually, usually get an orange from this guy on a 8 players or yellow. Depends what you want to call him. Oh, 2 blues, not bad. Take these potions. Kill that. God damn shammy, where is he? Oh, two of them. Okay, this bit's pretty much cleared, and uh, let's head down here. Oh, awesome. I could really do the new weapon right now. New melee weapon anyway. I think I can... Yes. Now this spell is awesome. It's got a great effect on it too. I see a lot of the spells from like all of the classes like combined. I see a lot of the spells reused in WoW today and... Especially a lot of the spell effects. It seems... They reuse quite a lot of stuff from this game in WoW, which is 
awesome. But I'm hoping in Diablo 3 they don't really take stuff from WoW and put it into that. It's like, I recently unsubbed from WoW. I dropped my, like, uh, dropped my paid subscription. Just not really enjoying the game anymore. Got second 85. Still got 4 over 80th level and I just cannot be bothered doing it. Going through the Carcassum zones that many times, it's uh, such a pain. Alright, so uh, five monsters left. Okay. Where haven't we been? God damn. Alright, hopefully it's. Where is this last. Jesus. Just the four monsters remaining. I cannot see anywhere on the map we haven't been yet. Come on. Here we go, I think. God damn, where is it? Yes! It's a bit overkill, but let's do it anyway. Because it looks awesome. <laughs> and we've finished the Den of Evil, so uh, let's take Town Portal back. And then. <laughs> is that all? You have cleansed the den. Yeah, it's lovely. You sell some stuff and hmm, buy some tomes. These save you so much inventory spaces. It's just I on my first playthrough, I totally forgot about. It. I didn't realize these at all. Spend most of the game with full bags. Not fun at all. So uh, let's go put. Gems in the uh, in our stash. Let's go to the next quest first. Well, my that's lovely. Right, gems in the bag. Gold in the bag. And uh, spend another talent point. All right. Uh, next episode looks like we're doing sisters burial round. Right.